Hi guys, this is V2 Thomas Crow and welcome to episode 3 of 5 Horror Riddles. Let's do it. Riddle number 11, Strange Notes. A few years ago, my older brother went crazy. He stabbed my sister to death and attacked my parents. The police managed to subdue him before he killed them too. He's been in a mental hospital and we've never visited him. This morning we got a letter from him in the mail. The postmark was yesterday. I opened it and inside I found a strange note. It said, Tonight the wind blows cold as steel. All I know is darkness, never light. The pain will break strongest hearts. My dreams still escape my grasp. I couldn't make sense of it, so I went to the kitchen and gave it to my mother. As soon as she finished reading it, her face went pale and the note slipped from her fingers. She rushed to the front door and started screaming. Riddle number 12. Poor girl. A girl endured terrible bullying every day at school. Some of the girls in her class would beat her up in a secluded place so that no one else would see them doing it. One day she was found lying dead in a pool of blood in the school toilet. The teacher said it was suicide. She'd sliced her own wrists and bled to death. They said she left a note behind. It read, please excuse the unfortunate mess. I committed suicide, but it wasn't because I was bullied. Riddle number 13, taking out the trash. This morning I was awakened by banging, banging and cluttering. My wife was downstairs making breakfast. She doesn't usually make that much noise, so I went downstairs to the kitchen. My wife had her back to me and she was cutting something up in the sink. I said good morning, but she ignored me. Then I remembered what happened last night. My wife caught me cheating on her and we had a violent argument. So today she must be giving me the silent treatment. How long can that last? I sat down at the table and asked her when breakfast would be ready. But she continued to ignore me. Then I looked at the clock. It was almost time to go to work. I raced upstairs and changed into my suit. When I came back down, my wife was out in the garden doing something. I always take out the trash before I go to work, so I grabbed the bl big black plastic bag from the kitchen. She it back. It was unusually heavy. She hadn't just double bagged it. She'd used about four or five black garbage bags. I dragged it out onto the end of the driveway and left it on the curb. It was so heavy, I wondered what was in there. My curiosity got the better of me. I untied the knot and took a look inside. Now there's two answers to this one. I'll post both of them in the description. Riddle number 14. Dead body. One day I was watching the news when the house I used to live in as a child came up on the screen. They said that the dead body of a girl was found buried in the backyard. I was so shocked I grabbed my phone and called my dad to tell him about it. Dad, are you watching the news? I asked. No, he replied. Why? You'll never guess what happened, I gushed breathlessly. Remember that old house where we used to live? Well, it's on the news. They found a dead body buried in the backyard. The police are questioning the owners right now. Wow, he replied. Are you serious? That's scary. Yeah, it is scary, I said. What if it was back there when we were living in the house? We could have been walking back and forth in the garden all the time, unaware that there was a corpse beneath our feet. It freaked me out just to think about it. Me too, he said. I never noticed a thing when, while we were living there, but it's a scary thought. Of course, I feel bad for the parents. Yeah, I do too, I replied. They must have been worried sick. I wonder who buried her there, he said. It gives me the creeps just thinking about it. Well, the police are investigating it now, I said. They'll probably get to the bottom of it eventually. I hope so, said my dad. Oh, that's meant to say 15. Riddle number 15. Apartment building. There's an old vacant apartment building near me. The city is planning to demolish it soon. I often pass it by on my way to work. A number of people have committed suicide there by jumping to their deaths. Because of that, they say the ghosts of a suicide victim still haunt the building. At night, the area is quite eerie because there are no street lights. One night, I had to stay late at work and it was almost 11pm when I was walking home. I was passing by the apartment building and it was creeping me out. Just then, I, know I looked up and spied a shadowy figure on the roof. I thought it was a ghost. 
My heart almost stopped. Then I took a closer look and I could make out a person standing on the roof. All of a sudden, the person jumped. I watched as the figure fell to the ground and landed with a sickening thud. It was horrible. I rushed over and saw it was a woman. She was lying in a pool of blood on the concrete. Her head was split open and her arms and legs were twisted. I got my cell phone out and called an ambulance. Some people must have heard her hitting the concrete. When I looked up, people in the apartment building were leaning over their balconies trying to get a look. Soon the ambulance came and took her away. When I got home, I couldn't sleep a wink. I couldn't get the memory of that horrible scene out of my head. So that gets it, guys. As always, answers are in the description. I'll see you later. Bye!